working patterns are what you would use to help set the hours employees should be working. Working patterns can be important if you create a time-off policy based on working patterns, if you need timesheets to be pre-populated, or if you are dealing with overtime in your organisation. Only employees with administrator access can set up working patterns. Working patterns can be accessed from settings, employee data, then employment statuses and working patterns. Scrolling to the bottom of this page, there is a section specifically about working patterns. By default, all employees are automatically assigned to a full-time working pattern, which can be edited. This section is where you can set up and manage any additional working patterns. In this column, the working patterns are listed. Here you can see the number of employees who are assigned to each working pattern. And you can click on the number to see the employees who have been assigned to any specific working pattern. Working patterns can be edited, customised, deleted and moved into a different order using these icons. Clicking Eligibility allows you to add or remove an employee or employees from a working pattern. Theo, our administrator, needs to add a new working pattern as a new part-time employee will be working Saturdays only. Theo clicks Add New. He enters a relevant name for the new working pattern. Here Theo can enter the days and hours the employee will be working and can enter the relevant break times. In this case Theo is creating a Saturday only working pattern so he selects Saturday. He then selects the start time from the drop down and chooses the time for the end of the working day. He also indicates how long the employee gets for a break in a similar way using these drop downs. The total weekly hours worked is automatically shown here. The default working duration can be left blank. In cases where overtime is involved, entering a number of hours here would determine the point after which overtime would start to be recorded. Theo clicks Save to continue, and when the page refreshes, you can see the new Saturday working pattern has been created. Once you've set up a working pattern, any employee you want to use that working pattern needs to be assigned to it. Grace Liberton has joined the company as a Saturday-only employee. Theo selects Eligibility and adds Grace by selecting her name from the list of employees. Theo can check that Grace has had the working pattern applied by clicking the number next to the working pattern. Grace is listed against the Saturday-only working pattern. When you create a working pattern, if there is a period of time where employees will be working hours that differ to their usual pattern, you can create a custom pattern that applies for certain date ranges. Theo has heard from the management team that all full-time employees will work a shorter working day in the two weeks leading up to the festive holiday. Theo needs to set this up. On the full-time working pattern, Theo clicks Calendar then Add New. Here, Theo can choose to select a week range or select dates from calendar pickers. Theo selects the two weeks leading up to the holiday. Theo can then amend the working hours. In this case, employees will stop work at 3pm and they'll have a shorter break. Theo repeats this edit for all the days in the week and then saves the changes. The two weeks of shorter working pattern have been created. If necessary, these records can be edited, duplicated or deleted here. If an employee's working pattern changes, the historical pattern needs to be recorded before the new working pattern can be allocated. This is to ensure that any historical calculations that could be impacted by the working pattern, such as time off allowances or overtime, are not adversely affected. Wendy Wu has notified that she will be moving to a full-time role, and Theo needs to record her previous part-time role. Theo clicks Add New. He then selects Wendy from the drop-down. Under Working Pattern, Theo selects the historic working pattern for Wendy, which was part-time. 
he then selects the dates in between which Wendy was working part-time. He clicks save and the record is created. Now that the historical working pattern has been recorded for Wendy Wu, it is safe for Theo to remove the part-time working pattern from Wendy by clicking eligibility and she will be returned to a full-time working pattern. By default, all employees are automatically assigned to a full-time working pattern. Custom working patterns are only created for short-term periods, not as a long-term solution for alternating working patterns. Custom working patterns are not currently designed to impact time off, only to pre-fill the different hours into timesheets, if enabled. It is important to track any historical change before allocating a new working pattern to the employee to ensure that any historical calculations are not adversely affected. Mm -hmm.